hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this quick video i'm going to show you how you can quickly run your php code directly in visual studio code yeah so as you can see i'm already logged in i'm already using i'm already uh open uh, in visual studio code and i have here a sample a sample a basic uh a file for php uh, which i named index.php yeah so we want to run this in our in, in our browser but without using the traditional way of you know going um going into the system if you have a local uh if you have yes uh, a local server installed on your computer going through all that process so i want whenever i make changes they come directly here from visual studio code they will be showing up on the other end yeah so one of the things that we need to do we shall go to extensions and we shall basically need two ex extensions so the first one is going to, is called uh php uh intelli that is okay i'm forgetting the name it's called php intellifas yes this is it here uh yes so this is a this is uh, uh an extension by ben muban okay and right now it has about nine million uh downloads okay so let's enable this uh, once that is enabled uh with the plugin here we have a quick uh, a quick start a guide on how we can use this so that it functions well yes so we shall go to extensions and then we look for this we shall search for at uh, that is bullet in php so i'll copy that i put it up here in uh, in uh, yes in the search bar that is uh, bullet in php so what it will bring is that it will bring me this so what we need to do is actually uh, disable this particular extension so for it, uh, for the other uh, uh, extension to work well, we need to disable this first. So we shall disable that. And yes, so once that is done, the last step we shall need is uh, we shall close this window. The last thing we shall need to do is actually go look for PHP server. Okay, PHP server. Okay, yeah, so here, this is the first, uh, this is the extension I'm talking about. Yes, as you can see, it is by the uh, the developer that is Brad Brapifa. Okay, uh, forget about it. Okay, so and right now it has about one million and four hundred thousand downloads. Okay, yeah. So once that is done, we shall enable this. Once we have enabled this, so we shall go forward, go back to our PHP file. Let me go back uh, to our files. Okay. Yeah, so once that is done, I'll come here and simply type in, uh, yes, I'll, I'll right click uh, on my PHP a file that I want to run. Yes, as you can see down here, we shall have more options. So the option is PHP server, that is serve project. So we shall run this. Okay. Yes, as you can see, definitely the system, will, yeah, uh, PHP is already running yes so if you're surprised uh, basically this is text i put into my php uh, document here uh yeah so i just got this text and i uh, yes run it about a hundred times yes that's why you're seeing here so uh successfully that shows that our php is running so if you have a big screen like mine if you're coding uh yes you can simply try to minimize this so such that whenever you're making changes just a matter of refreshing here and you're able to see the changes concurrently yeah so but however if you're using a small screen a small laptop probably that may not be possible to do this but uh, yes so uh, your php code will be running directly so if you found this video helpful please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to receive notifications whenever I release a new video Jobless.